Hi everyone, this is Josephine here from Josephine's Timeless Fashion and Beauty and today's video is how I restyle my old clothes and fall fashion lookbook video. I am so excited to be sharing with you ladies on how I restyle my old clothes and fall fashion lookbook video. And ladies, this video is all about fashion and style and I am going to go ahead and share with you ladies some tips and tricks on how to make your old clothes look new again. And also I'm going to be sharing with you ladies a fall fashion lookbook and basically share with you ladies some outfit ideas for fall. So ladies, before I get into all of the details of this video, I wanted to say that if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to say welcome. I upload videos once a week on my channel and I do makeup tutorials, fashion and style videos, and hair product review videos. And if you are a returning subscriber and you're watching one of my videos again, I want to say welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And once you subscribe to my channel, there's this little bell right next to the subscription button. Just click on the bell and click on the word all. So that way you'll get a notification when I upload new videos on my channel. So ladies, this video is basically all about taking old clothes and making them look new again. I was going through my wardrobe and I found some of my old clothes and I said to myself it would be really fun for me to do a video and basically share all of my tips and tricks on how to just restyle old clothes. So ladies, let me go ahead and get started. Okay ladies, so here is the first item that I am going to restyle. So this is an old maxi skirt that I have found when I was going through my wardrobe. And um, you know, I was thinking about restyling this for a fall type of outfit. And I know that it has a lot of floral patterns on it, but still, um, I still wanted to kind of restyle it and kind of make it fall appropriate. This maxi skirt I actually got from Dillard's a few years back and it's really pretty and one of the tips that I would like to share with you ladies, so this is tip number one, is if you do have a floral maxi skirt and you want to wear it into fall, one of the um, tips that I can share with you ladies is to make sure to have a maxi skirt that have neutral colors in it. Like this one for example, the neutral color is the cream background that is on the background of the skirt. So as long as your floral maxi skirt has a little bit of a um, neutral color, you can get away with wearing it for fall. So I'm just going to go ahead and style this and share with you ladies how I make this old maxi skirt look really, really chic. Okay ladies, so here is outfit number one. Just, you know, turning this old maxi skirt into a sexy outfit for fall. And I'm going to share with you ladies all the tips on how I did that. So I basically took this old um, blouse that I have for a very long time. I actually had this blouse for a while and I got it at Dillard's a long time ago. And as you can see, there's lace on it, there's ruffle details all over this blouse. And I've decided to go ahead and pair it with this old maxi skirt and here is a fall outfit. Now this outfit um, is kind of like, you know, boho chic. It's kind of giving me that boho chic vibe for fall. And I absolutely adore this whole outfit. And so tip number two that I wanted to share with you ladies is that if you have an old maxi skirt 
and you're looking for different ways to wear it, you can definitely wear it with an old blouse that you have or any type of blouse or any type of shirt that you have and then turn your shirt or a blouse into a crop top. So that's what I did with this outfit. And then also, um, the blouse is a neutral color. So again, it goes perfect for fall. Like I've mentioned before, uh, with the skirt, with the maxi skirt being a, ne a neutral color. Can't speak to these ladies. Being a neutral color. So definitely, when you are pairing your outfits together and styling your outfits together, it just kind of play around with the colors and just make sure that the colors are neutral. So, or at least have some kind of neutral colors into the outfit. So let me share with you ladies how I style it and do the lookbook portion of this video. So here is the whole outfit. Now, of course, I pair it with my booties, my fall booties. And I also paired this skirt with a brown belt. And I also pair it with some tassel earrings that kind of have some beads on it. And as you can see, the earrings are neutral colors as well. I also paired it with my Dooney Ember Florentine Satchel in the color natural. And to complete this outfit, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Boho Chic sunglasses. And here is the first outfit. Okay, so I'm just gonna model it again so you can see how it looks, ladies, how this whole outfit just turned together. And you could just take something old and turn it into a new outfit. You could just take an old clothes that you have in your wardrobe and, you know, just turn it into something that's really sexy, really sophisticated. So this is outfit number one. Okay ladies, here is another old clothing item that I found in my wardrobe. Um, this is an old maxi dress, as you can see. Lots of lace on it. Really, really pretty. I think I got this at Dillard's a long time ago. There's lace all over the dress. And I am going to go ahead and style it and turn it into a fall outfit. Okay ladies, so here is look number two, which is this look right here. And I basically restyled this maxi dress and then turn it into a fall outfit. So this outfit is really, really pretty as you can see. And I'm just gonna go over all the details on how I basically put this outfit together. And so this is a lace duster that I got from um, Dillard's a long time ago. And as you can see, it goes perfectly well with this lace dress, this lace maxi dress. And I decided to go ahead and pair the dress also with this necklace that is pearls and it kind of have of beaded tassel pearls all over it right here as you can see and then I also decided to go ahead and put um, earrings that kind of have the bead tassels as well and I also decided to go ahead and style this whole outfit with my Dooney Ember Florentine satchel in the color natural and I am also wearing my uh, fall booties to basically complete the look and to also complete the look I am gonna go ahead and put on my boho sheet sunglasses so I'm just gonna go ahead and model this outfit so you ladies can see how it looks Thank you. 
Okay ladies, so here is the next item that I am going to restyle. This is an old uh, blouse that I got from Macy's. It's really pretty, lots of lace, it's really sheer. Here's the back, really, really pretty lace blouse that I am going to restyle. This is really, really, really old, but I'm definitely going to turn it into something really sexy with an outfit. Okay ladies, so here is look number three and look number three is all about sophistication. This is a really, really sophisticated look and this look is just really, really, really fall appropriate as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you ladies how I style this old blouse from Macy's. So as you can see, this is a lace blouse that kind of has a vintage look to it. And I've decided to go ahead and pair it with some khaki pants. And I also paired it with my fall booties. And I also paired it with this tassel beaded necklace that has a pearl in the middle. And I also paired it with the matching earrings. And I also paired it with my Dune Amber Florentine Satchel in the color natural. And to complete this look, I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with these sunglasses that just really look really sophisticated. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my sunglasses. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and model the look. Okay, so here is the same outfit, but with a blazer. I decided to go ahead and throw on this blazer over my shoulders to create just a whole new look with it. Um, so this is another look that I created with this blouse. This looks really, really, really sophisticated. So with a blouse like this, that's sheer ladies, so I think this is tip number three or tip number four, um, definitely you can just put on a blazer to just complete your look to keep yourself warm. And then whenever you're somewhere that's a little bit warmer, you can take your blazer off and you can still look fabulous and sophisticated. Okay ladies, here is the last item this is a really old dress from dillers that i got a few years back um and as you can see it has uh, some designs on it as you can see it's a really pretty dress it is a maxi dress so i am gonna go ahead and restyle this one and turn it into a fall outfit Okay ladies, so this is outfit number four and this is the black maxi dress and I'm going to go ahead and share with you ladies how I restyled it. So this is a really sophisticated look, another sophisticated look that I've decided to go ahead and do and this look is all about this scarf. So I've decided to go ahead and um, put on this scarf that has some horses on it and um, it's a really really pretty scarf and it's gray tone scarf and it also has some gold it also has some brown um, it got some beige and so I've decided to go ahead and pair this dress with this scarf because I feel like the black with the gray gives it a really sophisticated, sophi can't speak today ladies, sophisticated type of look. So it really, really goes well together. It kind of gives this really look of sophistication. And I also paired it with my Dooney Emberg 
uh, Florentine satchel in the color light taupe because I kind of feel that the taupe, uh, the, the taupe color of the handbag goes really well with the scarf and also with the dress. And I decided to go ahead and put on a black belt to kind of cinch my waist. And I also put on the same tassel earrings that I had for the other looks. And I've decided to go ahead and keep the brown booties uh, just to kind of tie in a little bit of brown into this look. And I also went ahead and got these uh, black sunglasses again to just complete the look. So let me go ahead and put on my sunglasses so you can see how it looks okay and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and model this look Okay ladies, so the next item is this dress that I am going to restyle. This is an old, old, old dress. Um, it has some ruffles on the side here, a little bit of ruching here, and I am going to go ahead and restyle this. This is a really old dress. I think I also got this at Dillard's as well. Okay ladies, so here is the final outfit for today's video and this dress is really pretty it's an old dress that I got from Dillard's a few years back and it's a cream color dress with a little bit of ruching going all the way down on the side of the dress right here as you can see and there's a little bit of a ruffle on the side of the dress and I've decided to go ahead and Keep it neutral and then add some animal prints to the dress to give it a more of a sophisticated look. So this is another sophisticated outfit. And let me share with you ladies basically all the details of this outfit and how I restyled this dress. So here are these tassel earrings um, that I put on. These are beaded tassel earrings that have a little bit of a brown tone to it. I also paired this dress with a belt that is animal print and then I also paired it with these animal print boots okay as you can see they're uh, you know the boots go all the way up to my knees and these are animal print boots so I just paired it with the dress and it goes perfectly well with the belt as well and then I've decided to go ahead and uh, pair this dress with my Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel in the color natural. And then I also have these sunglasses that also have brown tone to it. So this is going to complete the look. So now let me go ahead and model it. Okay ladies, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching on how I restyle my old clothes and fall fashion lookbook video. And ladies, I really had fun um, restyling some of my old clothes from my wardrobe. So I might turn this into a series on my channel where I basically take some old clothes and then restyle them and then do a lookbook. So if you ladies need some fashion inspiration or some outfit ideas, um, I might go ahead and turn this into a series on my channel. And then also ladies, um, I am on Instagram, so you can definitely follow me on Instagram for some um, fashion inspiration or outfit ideas or some makeup ideas as well. And also as far as 
uh, the clothes in this video. I know that the clothes are really old, but what I am going to do is I'm going to see if I can find similar clothes um, on, you know, different websites, on different stores, and then leave the links down below in the description box. So that way, if there's any type of clothing that kind of got your interest, you can definitely click in the description box down below. There's going to be some links. And ladies, thank you so much for watching. I am going to be doing more makeup tutorials, more fashion style videos, and more hair product review videos. Bye-bye and God bless.